neighborhood that I grew up in, very rough, very tough, and dangerous neighborhood. But as I listened and watched Muhammad Ali, and he talked about how he fought his way out of the ghetto. So my thing was, if Muhammad Ali could do it, I could do it. But a lot of boxers had a bad upbringing or poor upbringing or whatever happened, I don't know, but and they got into boxing and it helped a lot of them out. If they get kids out of the street and teach them something besides fighting in the street, getting into drugs. What do you do with these kids that are just turned away? Oh, you can't play football because your grades aren't good. We bring them in and we try to change them around with their school and with everything else. It gave you a, a sense of belonging and then everybody got to be like family. And we would hang out together eat together, be invited over to Eddie Bridges' house, and we all grew very close. We even basically kept each other out of trouble because we knew that we were boxing royalty. And anything that we did affected the whole community. I mean, it got to the point that even if somebody did something wrong, it would hurt Jack Moss, the editor for the Kalamazoo Gazette, and he would come down to the gym and give a guy a talk that you cannot be doing this. Don't break the law. You know, don't commit any crimes. You're hurting uh, uh, m me. Boxing has really brought Kalamazoo alive with a lot of enthusiasm. And we do have an opportunity for a lot of young kids. May not becoming the champion in the ring, but a champion outside the ring. He was changing into another person. I took that time to uh, help those that had problems with bullies. Now I can protect somebody. It builds confidence kids that may not have ever had confidence, they're timid, they come into the gym, they start building relationships, and it's a sense of accomplishment, it's a sense that, hey, I can do this. Got in a little trouble when I was young, and I went down to the KBA, and I met Eddie Bridges, and he took me in like a son, taught me how to box, taught me how to be a better person, taught me how to be a good student, just made me feel so good. I'm the first one graduated high school. Mama didn't go no more into third, fourth grade. He would always come get me, encourage me, do my homework, everything. He was just like a father to me. He just took care of you. He made sure you ate right. He'd ask you, like, what are you doing? What he wanted an answer was that you're not out drinking, carousing. You're doing the right things, not only in training, but in life. Boy, I used to be a bad little kid, you know, because there were times I had trouble in school. I had trouble with the police in the room. Throughout communities, man. 
You know, it just changes your perspective of life when you're good at something. And you know you're good at something. 